right, so thank you for joining me. I am at Walton Heath for the British Masters. I'm joined by Adrian. Adrian Tagan. How thank are you? Thank you for joining me. Uh, so it's Monday. You've just arrived this morning. Um, you were in Scotland last week for the Dunhill. So Adrian, just warming up on the range. We're just going to talk to you a little bit about what you would do on a tournament day uh, when you arrive at the golf course, kind of process that you go through. Because I think for some of these golfers watching this video, the amateur golfers, they probably don't warm up as well as they should. And then they expect to go onto that first tee and shoot the best round of the done. So, how, how much before your tee time would you arrive, let's say on a Thursday before you play? I'm going to give you the example of, of Thursday, for example. Yep. Uh, I normally get to the golf course like two hours before my tee time. Okay. Uh, I know not everybody got that much time to... <laughs> they can try, to, they can make time. To, to, get, to get that early, <laughs> but uh, I normally come uh, two hours earlier. Um, and then I have breakfast normally at the, at the golf club. Uh, I prepare my Yaddish book, do the pin sheet, and, and then uh, just start practicing more or less an hour and a half before yeah. before the tea time. Okay. Normally start uh, putting, so I do like 20 minutes of putting, start with short putts uh, to get the feeling, to get the, the good line on the, on the putt, and then I, I grow up with the distance uh, and finish with, uh, with long putts, I don't know, like uh, uh, 30 feet, 60 feet to get sure. the pace as well and yeah. to feel the pace. And that's, I mean, that's more or less um, how, how it practice my my putting before yeah. before the round so i start with the putting then i i go to the chipping area so i do some bunker shots i do some chipping around the green i do some uh, flop shots chipping uh, to mostly to get the feeling i mean yeah. uh, I, I, I'm, I'm i basically do this every day but just get the feeling for that morning before yeah. before the competition starts okay uh, I mean, what's, sorry, Sinjo, what's really interesting, I find this fascinating watching you guys, is that week after week after week, you're playing on different greens, different sand, and, and so I guess when you get to a tournament, different tournament, for you it's a case of trying to get, gauge what those greens are like. I mean, yeah, many of the people watching this video will have a, a course they remember at, so very often the greens are the same every time, but they still need to get the feel because it may well be that they've been cut differently. Exactly, or, every morning you still need to get the feel. Normally we, on, I mean, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is our practice days, and uh, that's how we, okay, we, we get used to the new sand or we get yeah. used to the to the new uh, green speed or whatever. But uh, on the tournament day, you normally already know how the sand is, how, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. how the green is, but you just need to keep getting the feeling. Perfect. Okay, hit me a couple of shots and we'll talk to you about what you do after your short game. So what okay. have you got in your hands at the moment? I've got a four iron now. Okay, perfect. So hit I, me a couple of shots and I've then we'll already, talk a I've little already bit. warmed up with the, yeah. with the short iron. Yeah, perfect. Um, and I was just practicing the fade a little bit, so. So we'll watch you hit a couple of shots because okay. as we've got a proper golfer here, we should probably get you to hit some shots. Okay. So if you hit a couple more, but we'll go through kind of, so once you've done your, your putting uh, and your chipping, you then move on to the driving range as we are here? After my chipping, I normally come to the driving range. That's okay. probably between 45 minutes and, and an hour before my tea time. Okay. And, uh, and I start warming again with, uh, with the short clubs. So I start with uh, 58, do some chipping, start, start, do some shots like 50 yards, yeah. then move up like a full 58, which is like 90 yards. Uh, and then just move up normally, do some nine irons, six irons, four irons and some, some three irons. Yeah. Um, basically, it's the same again to, to get the feeling. Yeah. Uh, I, don't do, I don't normally do too much uh, technique work because, yeah. I mean, if I'm on a tournament day, I'm supposed to, to be okay technically. Yeah. So just uh, get the feeling, uh, work on some trajectories, uh, maybe visualize some holes on the yeah, course yeah. to try to, okay, what, what would I hit on number one? So maybe a driver, so I try to, I try to uh, visualize that shot on like the first, first two, three holes. Yeah. Uh, so once you, you get to the first tee, you, you're already like in the tournament. Yeah, you yeah. don't get there and, oh, what, what do I do now? Yeah, like, yeah, uh, sure. yeah. Well, I think, you know, I, I see a lot of golfers um, who try and go to the golf course and they try and do the right thing, as in get there maybe an hour before the tee time and practice. But I see too many golfers making swing changes. 20 minutes before the game play and you wouldn't do I mean what we're saying here is you're really trying to get a speed feel for this green speed um, what's the sand like you know trying to get comfortable with it in the clubs different the, trajectories the objective, no swing thoughts the objective it? of that the morning of the tournament is just get ready for the tournament yeah. so yeah, so talking. just do the best things you, you can do to get ready for the tournament yeah. nobody cares about about your swing or no, about no, no. it's just about okay how how I want to hit the ball yeah. uh, and how I want to visualize the shot I want to hit and and to get ready to hit the, well the, the next shot you have to do. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's hit, hit a couple more shots. Oh, 
Lovely. So last week was the Dunhill. Very different conditions that week than what you're normally used to. So pre start of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, did you do a little bit more on trajectory work? Did you feel you had to change the flight of the ball a little bit based yeah. on the conditions of the wind? I mean, the Dunhill links is always a different week. And <laughs> you, you play three different courses. Uh, the rounds are long because you play with the amateurs. And yeah. uh, it's always it's always a, like a different week. It's very cold last week. It was, yeah, it was, it was ve sort of very cold yeah. as well. So I only, only traveled to Scotland on, on Tuesday. Okay. I knew the courses already. Yeah. So I just prepared it on, on the yardage book. And um, and yeah, just just try to. I mean, obviously the the, the rounds are long. It's a long yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't I didn't get to the to the sure. to yeah. the country that early. Yeah. And do you find yourself trying to hit different trajectories on the course due to the wind? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, when it's when it's windy, uh, you, windy. You, you you always try to hit it like low, and you just always try to uh, hit it on the fairway. And you don't you, you don't really need to be that long, but always yeah. keep the ball on, on, in play and keep the ball in the fairway. So. That's the main goal when it's windy. And how tough is uh, how tough is your caddy's job last week when you've got all those different wind conditions and the temperatures? I mean, does it play around with the yardages a lot? Um, yeah, I mean, when, it, when it's very windy, it's more about a field play for for yeah. the for the player as well. It's not mathematics either. Uh, you have to feel okay. Yeah, you, you can you can hit like two, three, four different shots for the same for yeah. the same yardage for the same shot. Yeah. So, but obviously, Caddy's, Caddy's work is very important too. Okay, how is, how is it exactly the wind? Uh, where we want to hit? Like, what's the best side to, yeah. to, to play, the, play the shot? Um, and and that's, that's its, main, its main job. All right, let's hit the last one and we'll finish up there. Just focusing now on hitting like a, a good strike yep. before, before teeing off now. Yep. So just, uh, I don't really care too much about the ball, but just feel, feel a, good, a good strike on the ball. So that was a Lovely. good strike, a good ball as well. So. Yeah. So I think the real the real message I'd like to get across to the people watching this is that it, it's really key that they get to the course and get ready for their round. But it's not about making swing changes; it's just about getting used to the conditions. No, and even even sometimes you come to the range before before a tournament and you you hit the ball bad and you and and I, I don't I don't really care. Normally when you hit the ball bad, you play well you on, you on, on, the, on the course. So you so. want to hit bad, yeah? <laughs> I don't want to hit bad, but if I hit bad, doesn't doesn't really matter. Excellent, Adrian. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, We're going to go and walk a few holes shortly, so uh, I'll get you some stuff Perfect. of Adrian on the golf course getting ready for the British Masters. Good luck this week and uh, we'll keep an eye on you. Thanks mate. Thanks for watching guys. The usual stuff as always is below. You've got a comments box down there, a like button and also a link over here if you want to subscribe to my channel. Uh, free as always, more content coming each and every week. Thanks again to Adrian and thank you for watching.